I am excited for spring 2024. As those of you who are returning consigner, consigners with Bella Kids and you have experience from different season to season, the spring sale is always our most epic. We have the most inventory, the most consigners, but we always have the most shoppers who are ready for the spring and summer seasons, for vacations, for warmer weather, for outside play, for school to end. And so it is always our most popular sale. So if you are on the fence on if you should be consigning for spring, the answer is yes, because it is always our biggest sale. So welcome everybody. I am so excited to share with you some of the new things um, that we are super excited, some new updates and changes to make our sales even better for 2024. So um, thanks for joining me this morning. I'm gonna share this. If, um, for those that can't be with us this morning, I'm gonna share this on our YouTube channel and then send it out in an email blast to everybody so that you can rewatch re it at your convenience and you can always refer back to this um, if you don't catch everything. So good morning, Spring Sale 2024 is upon us and get registered if you haven't. The Spring Sale is always our biggest sale, our most popular sale. Our shoppers come and they are looking for the bargains for the warm weather, they're for their vacations, for summer break once the kiddos are out of school. So in, with inflation, you guys, it's not getting any better. So um, our shoppers are excited to shop and get what they need at an awesome price. So I wanted to go over some of our major changes and updates that I learned from a conference that I attended earlier from sale owners across the country. We got together and we um, shared our tips and tricks and best practices. And it was an awesome event where I learned some stuff. I shared some of our things that we have going on that we're proud of and our achievements from Bella Kids, but um, they taught me a few things as well. So I'm gonna go over a few of them, but before I get started with what's new, I wanna let everybody know the new updated consigner welcome kit is available for download. It's on the link in the comment to this live. I sent it out by email to all of our registered consigners yesterday as well. So it's here ready to go and it is jam packed page by page with everything you need to know about what's accepted, what's not accepted, how to price it to make sure you sell your stuff and make the most money, um, the top ways to increase your check, some of our new perks and programs that we have going on, fresh links to how to consign videos. So if you need help on hanging and tagging, these are great videos for you. Um, it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to enter your items and then how to print and attach your tag securely so you get you don't have any missing lost tag items at the end of the sale. And then we have our category limit chart page as well so you know how many, and we'll be talking about this in just a little while because a few things have changed. And then our drop-off um, options for you and our styles between DIY and concierge. And then we talk about Sunday pickup and a new feature for those who are picking up their unsold items. And last but not least, the page is about your payday and how we send you an email with your check included that you just print and deposit either mobily or take it to your bank and deposit. So it's a win-win fast payment because we know that's why we're all doing this, to make money. So we want to make sure that you get your check back as soon as, as soon as we can after the sale ends. So that is our welcome kit. The link is here. So go ahead and download it and get started with it. Save it and bookmark it on your phone. You can put it in your Google Drive. You can put it um, on your computer and just download it to your desktop so you always have it as a reference. I'm a paper person. I'm old fashioned. So I, I always print it out and I keep it inside of my consigner supply kit. So it's ready to go and handy to use as a reference. So the design, the download is ready to go. I'll be doing a one page consigner cheat sheet and be launching that this upcoming week. I'll send that out so you have a one page reference. If you don't wanna print out all these pages, sometimes just having that cheat sheet printed out and ready to go is easy too for you. So um, now let's get started on what's new for spring. 
So number one, we have increased our price point. So we used to have a $2 minimum price point, but we upped it to $3. And this was um, a recommendation. When the other sale owners heard that I was still at $2, they kind of laughed at me, to be honest with you, especially with inflation. And they um, said by increasing that price point, we are giving our shoppers a better selection because the quality improves by increase that price point for $3 and it makes us bundle more so put more outfits together put more three character tees on one tag to meet that minimum price point so i started talking about it then and it was off of this category um limits so diy you have a hundred clothing category limits and notice it says 50 per gender and so we're doing this because it's going to encourage you to bundle but it's also going to help us organize our space to know what's coming in. And when we used to have, it is also gonna save you a lot of time when you're entering because we took away all the subcategories of clothing. And this was also a recommendation from other sale owners. And it's to help us plan, but it's also to help you save time. So you're no longer gonna have to scroll through 30 clothing category options. Girls PJs, girls swim, girls, tops, girls outerwear, girls dresses, girls skirts, boys pants, blah, 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 blah. Now it's girls clothing or boys clothing. We still want you to keep them separated as you're entering them and you're going to want to rubber band them together when you have all your 2T pajamas rubber banded together because that's going to help you for drop off because our wraps are going to still be the same and separated by category within the size. But for you guys, when you're entering, it's going to be girls clothing, boom. The system's going to remember what your last clothing was. So you're literally going to be going like this. No more changing of category. Once you're done with girls clothing, then you change that to boys clothing. And all you have to do is change the size and write in the description of what it is. So this is where you're going to want to make sure that your descriptions are accurate so that if it does happen to be a loss tag item, we can match it up correctly because we don't have that. We only know that it's girls or boys. We don't know that it's a girl's swim, a girl's dress. So make sure that you write in what it is on the description, either line one or dot line two. So shirt, pants, sweater, three-piece outfit, that kind of thing. Make sure that is always included in the, in the description, which it should have been anyways, but we want to remind you to do that. If you are a one gender household, email me, Christy at WNYBellaKids.com or BellaMom at WNYBellaKids.com or just reply to any of our emails that we've been sending and let me know your consigner number and which gender you want to be assigned to for that 100 clothing category. So if you only have two boys in your house, you don't need 50 girls. You want all 100 girls. So let me know that so that I can update and that's a super change, easy change and a quick change. There is going to be a deadline to let me know that because I am not going to have the time to be doing that in, when we're all burning the midnight oil the week before the sale. So you want to let me know to adjust your account sooner rather than later because there's going to be a deadline to where, okay, we aren't making any more changes to category limits for consignors. So I hope that makes everybody's life easier and it makes your entering faster because um, that is what I am being told and it makes total sense. I know I'm a consigner myself and I know sometimes scrolling through all those categories takes a lot of time. So this is gonna save you time when you're entering your items. So that is another major change in addition to the minimum price point. Um, let's talk about um, accepted and unaccepted changes. So a few of the major ones, which you will also see in your um, consigner kit by looking at these two pages, the unaccepted items and brands list, but also the accepted room by room list. This also, both of these documents will help you along as you're gathering. Um, so I would like you guys to, um, just, I just want to share a few of the major ones, accessories. So with our spring sale, like always, we're going to accept summer hats, new or gently used, including baseball caps. That's the same for every um, spring sale. However, we are not going to be accepting individually belts, kids' purses, suspenders, um, because we want to make more racks for shoes. And so those bins of all those little tchotchkes that have a low sell-through rate, we want to be able to spread our shoe racks 
and make more of them. So we got to take out the bins of stuff that really don't sell. But what you can do is still sell them with a coordinating or matching outfit. So you, if you have a beautiful girl's dress and you know these socks that are gently used work, look perfect and they're in great condition still, attach it with a safety pin to the outfit, of course, on the tag, not on the front of it because then it causes holes, and we'll accept it. Same with belts. Put a belt on that cute outfit for your little boy with the suspenders and sell it all as a set. You still get to sell it. You can up the price by a dollar or two, and then um, you still get to sell it, but we're not using a separate bin on our sales floor, so we can make more room for clothing and shoes, because that is what we're doing. We want to make our experience for our shoppers more pleasant to shop from, so we're building more racks, and we're building more shoe racks to spread everything out. So that accessories is another um, major change. There's no really other major change except for women's. We're going to press pause on women's until we determine our exact location. We're still in negotiations. Um, again, if anybody has any connections with vendors, Benderson, that is who we are trying to get to work with Bella Kids because they have the most vacant spaces in the North Towns. And so if you have a connection, message me. Um, reply to my emails and let me know who to contact there. I already have a few contacts, but we need to go up the chain to get them to understand the benefits of having fellow kids in their plazas for Western New York community. So it's just a little plug on location and our lease. Um, our unaccepted brands really haven't changed. Um, I don't think we have anything else on this list that's major other than that accessories. Oh, you know what? Um, we're not accepting anything for bedding except for crib and toddler sizes. No more twin, no more full. It just doesn't sell and it takes up a lot of space. So again, we're trying to maximize our space for the categories and the sizes that do sell. So we're not going to be doing that um, for moving forward. Toddler and twin only. Now let's talk about some awesome changes. So we want to thank the consigners and reward the consigners that select discount and donate yes. And so by doing that, we are going to give them extra perks. You're going to get to shop earlier ahead of the consigners that elect to do discount and donate no. Uh, you're going to receive a tax donation receipt from Harvest House to thank you for your donation in the end for whatever ends up being left over. And your stuff is going to get an extra hour of sales. We are adding a flash one hour 75% off sale after our 50% off sale on Sunday afternoon. So for one hour, if it's still there after all the regular sale days, after the awesome 50% off sale, if it's still there for the last hour on Sunday and it says discount donate yes, it's going to be part of our 75% off sale. This is a way for our consigners to sell even more, make even more money, have nothing to pick up, and be super happy in the end. And it's going to bring another crowd of shoppers to come in before we close up for the end of the sale. And so we're super excited about this. And again, it's only for the consigners that elect discount and donate. Yes. And those are always our happiest consigners because you do not have to deal with the pickup hassle and you sell the most of your stuff, majority of your stuff, 80, 90% of your inventory. So you don't even have to worry about what's left over because you already made so much money by participating in all the events. Um, lastly, I want to talk about for those of you who elect to pick up your unsold items, we are adding a new feature to help you find your stuff. In addition to the sort code, we are going to be asking um, of you an additional step, which is a highlighter step. And this makes total sense. So based on your sort code, you're going to be assigned a highlighter. You're going to go to the dollar store and grab a pack of highlighters or pack, if they sell your color individually, grab your, in so if you are um, sort code F, G, or H, you've been assigned the yellow sort code. So after you print your tags, you're going to have eight to a sheet. I have a half a sheet right here to use because I cut them out yesterday. But all you're going to do is take your highlighter color. My highlighter, highlighter color was blue. And you're just going to do a line at the end on the right side of the tag. It's going to take you two extra seconds to do this. But guess what? When it comes to Sunday and we're sorting, it's going to be faster for us to sort. But it's also going to be faster for you to find your items just by looking for the color. 
And on top of it, if you're looking and searching for an item and it's not in your sort code color, it's going to be super, super easy for you to walk, walk around all the other racks and look for something that's blue in a pink or a yellow or an orange area. So it's a huge visibility, easy to find way to find your stuff at the end for those of you who are picking up your unsold items. So this is only a step for donate no people. Donate yes people, you don't have to do this step. It's for donate no. And we prefer you not to do it because then it's super easy. In addition to the big letter D that's going to be here for our shoppers for the 75% off sale, but the items that don't have a highlighter code will also be a signal for our shoppers to know that it's part of the 75% off sale. So all of this is super exciting and it's just going to make our sales even better. It's going to help you guys save time help you guys sell more items by participating in all these new changes. So I wanted to share all this with you in advance because as you know, our inventory database opens today at noon. And this means I need you to pay attention to our welcome kit and review this to make sure you understand what's accepted, what's unaccepted, and our quality standards because there's no sense in wasting time entering things that are going to be rejected when you come to your drop off. We don't like to have to reject items and we know it doesn't make you feel real good when we have to reject them. So please follow through with your responsibility to read through this and keep up with our changes so that you don't get any re rejected items in the end. Everything needs to be excellent quality, um, gently used or brand new, and it may think about what would you pay for it when you're shopping at a consignment store and that's what the pricing strategy should be in your head. We say 25% of retail so if it's a hundred dollar item $25 is a um, reasonable amount to ask for it. You can go a little higher, you can go a little lower based on use, based on condition, and based on if it's one of our top selling categories. Spring sale, our top selling categories are always, always anything outdoor, anything with wheels, cozy coops, the pretend play, the picnic tables, the slides, the swings, all of those things for outdoor fun are always top sellers. So are our swimsuits, our adorable short sets, our summer dresses, our sandals, our water shoes, our rain boots, our rain jackets. Those are always top sellers. So keep that in mind, but always toys as well are top sellers, especially the favorite brands like Fisher Price, like Imaginex, like Legos. Those are always top sellers, so you can go a little bit higher than that 25%. If it's brand new in package, I say look at the price tag and go 50%. So those are the pricing strategies that we recommend to make sure you have a really good sell-through rate so you make the most money with Bella Kids. Get excited because our average consigner check last time was $425. We had over 200 sellers that their check was 500 and beyond. Actually, it was more than that when you add up our top seller tier. So guys, this is your opportunity to turn this into your side hustle. We have families who join with us every sale, and that is their family's vacation fund. Who couldn't use a vacation fund for their family? I know I can. So consider this your side hustle. Make it a family project. Get the kids involved and um, ask your family for hangers. Ask your family for donations. If they are just going to donate their stuff to Goodwill that you could sell, ask them for it because why not make some money on it and add it to your, if you have room in your 200 or 250 item maximum, why not? Lastly, I wanna talk about concierge services. So when you register with us, everybody starts as a DIY. It's our most profitable, it's what everybody automatically gets signed up, signed up to. In the email I just sent you guys today, there is a link. If you would like to sign up for our concierge service, whether it's full or express, you're going to click on that link and enter your name, your consigner number, and which option you're interested in. And I have the descriptions there between the two to fit your family's needs. Because if not all families have the time to enter, but you still want to sell, sell your stuff instead of donating it, you want to make some money on it. So our concierge service is that great option. Finally, we have put out our first message about free hangers. We got our first distribution from one of our charity organizations. They are at our tagger's house. It, um, 
you're going to contact Sharon. Check. I'll, I'll send out another reminder email too. Just text her and she'll send you her home address and she has them out on her porch patio and any registered consigner can grab them from her this weekend until they're gone. We will be doing more hanger distributions as we receive them from Harvest House and the other charitable organizations throughout February and March. And that's when we get together at a Starbucks parking lot and Jamie, our consigner coach, will be there answering your questions, showing you examples of prepping. So we'll get together more as a community in those future um, hanger distributions. But for right now, if you just want to get started and just need some hangers, they're available in um, at Sharon's home in Clarence. Just text her and um, she'll be happy to help you. So I hope that covers everything with our new exciting updates for you guys. I hope you're excited as we are as a team and um, we'll be in touch soon. By the way, if you are not getting our emails, you need to check your junk folder because they probably are landing there. All right, everybody, good. have, have a great um, weekend. It looks like um, we're out of the clear for snow for a while. And um, as always, go Bills. We'll see you um, in just a few months, everybody. Take care.